Good morning. Buongiorno, morini. My mom just left. It's always so hard to say goodbye. It never dawns on me how hard it is to be apart from family until you're together for a while and then you have to say goodbye. It's, such a, it's like the hardest part about living abroad, you guys. Like, sorry, I need some water. Okay, like, calm down a little bit. I'm so grateful for every moment that I have with my mom and I think the last time I saw her was five months ago. So I'm grateful that I am able to see her like, you know, every five to six months, we try. But going from seeing her every month to like, you know, it's hard, it's really hard. Like my mom's my best friend and it's been so nice to have her around. And, and I think too, Emilio left yesterday for a work trip as well. And so having like boom boom, you know, both of them leave and it's like I feel the quietness. I feel the loneliness. Of course, this is just me venting. I love my life here and I love what I'm doing and I like being alone and, and the day to day and I have made friends and I keep myself busy. Like it's not like that. I, I, I would feel this way if I lived anywhere else in the States without my family. Ugh, it's hard. Sorry, I didn't I didn't even want to film, but I just was crying. My mom left and I was like, you know what, I haven't filmed for two weeks and let me just pick it up. I'm gonna use this as like a diary. Why not? I know it will get better. It's always like this. And also my mom usually comes with my stepdad, who I love as well, but it's been really nice to, you know, have just her. So today is just gonna be hard because, you know, back to work, back to adulting. <laughs> I sound so silly. I'm grateful. I'm grateful that I still have my parents. We have FaceTime, but it's really hard to be far apart from your family. At the end of the day, the pros outweigh the cons. My mom bought me, bought us these like Crusette mugs. She also did some house shopping while she was here, which is like the nicest thing. Sorry. <laughs> Everything I say is gonna trigger me today. I don't know why, but like, you know, just little things. Like my mom would go for walks and come back with things for our house. And I just sometimes feel like I take it for granted. And I just am so grateful. And sometimes putting a camera in front of me helps me. It's like cathartic in a way. Let's make a cappuccino, shall we? And dry these tears. It's like my signature now in my vlogs. I feel like I always take a sip of my coffee in front of this window because first of all, lighting. Second of all, that's really how I start every morning. I've been having my coffee without sugar and it's getting better. And I'm gonna go back to bed. I mean, I'm gonna go back late and lay in bed. It's early. You wanna come to bed, Lily? It's seven. My mom left for the airport early this morning, so I got up and walked to Leo as I said goodbye to her as the taxi came. I get comments sometimes when I do either not complain but ex but share some of the negative experiences of living in another country. I get comments of being like, well, you live in Florence, you live in the most beautiful country ever with the best food. Like what is there to complain about? Suck it up. Like it's your decision. You wanted to move there and I get where they're coming from. We left Rome back in 2019 because of a lot of things that I, com I, I complained about and career changes and being closer to family. It's a big reason why we moved back to the States. And then the pandemic hit and we realized, are we happier here? Like, is the grass greener? 
we're closer to family, but we don't even see them as much as we thought we did we would and the pandemic changed a lot of things and put a lot of things into perspective for us and what was more important chasing like that hustle career goal or live living not living to work but working to to live and live was more important to us so when i was offered this opportunity we we did say yes however we did weigh out all the pros and cons and i did think a lot and very hard about saying goodbye to my family and how it would affect me and and it does definitely affect me daily i'm no there's no doubt about that i'm much more happier living where i live now respectfully where we were living before and we're happier here and the day-to-day the -day life here is just so much more what we want out of life but that doesn't mean and that doesn't discredit my feelings and how i feel and and feeling far away from my friends and family and not being able to just pop on over when I want to and and having that it's true we have Emilio's family here but they're not even in the same city so we don't see them as frequently at all and um, we're creating our own family unit here and that is what's important that's what we at least we have each other and that's great but I get comments of people discrediting how I feel because of where I live and at the end of the day like the grass really isn't always greener and yes i live in a beautiful city with amazing food and culture and art but i still miss my mom my dad my grandparents my best friends like i still miss i'm still allowed to miss and have these feelings and feel lonely sometimes and feel misunderstood at times being in a place that i don't speak my native tongue i do speak the language but sometimes i can't get my thoughts across and sometimes i my brain just decides not to work that day and doesn't want to speak in any language good morning today is a new day and i may be wearing the same shirt as i was yesterday morning but i got to thinking about how i was feeling yesterday and the emotional journey i had yesterday morning and i wanted i didn't want to leave you all without something inspiring or something that you can take away from the video if you're going through something similar and given that today i'm feeling a lot better clearly i'm not in tears but i am still sad and still feeling homesick it's a different type of homesick it's homesick from family who was visiting but given i'm still feeling the feel i wanted to share you with you all um some things that that i like to do when i'm feeling this way to make me feel better call it self-care perhaps but i did a few of these things yesterday after i left you all but I'm also going to do them again today and add some new things to the mix as well. Just things that help me cope and help me feel good when I'm going through emotional distress or missing someone or just feeling in the dumps. So thanks for sticking around and let's get on with our self-care day. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So typically on a self-care centered day, I start my morning off without looking at my phone, social media, anything. I will check to see if I have any messages from family, friends, anything like that, but I won't go on social media. I won't check my emails right away. I won't do any of that. And I'm out the door to walk Leo. I like to take a nice long walk in the morning without looking at my phone and just kind of enjoying nature and being present. Welcome to the Note to Self podcast. I'm your host, Zoe. I'm a certified professional life coach. On this podcast, you can expect actionable tips, reflections, and inspiration to live your best, most fulfilling life. 